Okay, we're uh, we're in the final final few days of preparation for a little jolly boy trip to uh, Scotland. Yeah, got up to Scotland on Thursday. How did this come about, mate? Um, first got offered um, Tommy works for Steve. Um, sent the name over to Ian, and we said, yeah, we'll take it, thinking that the probably would accept anyway. But then he accepted it, so then that was like what, six weeks ago now. And originally it was supposed to be some kind of a Commonwealth eliminator, but I believe that's not the case now. Nah, I don't think there's any title on the line now. But what's it going to be, an eight or a ten rounder? It's a ten rounder. Ten rounder? Ten rounder, yeah. Uh, against a kid with a record that's pretty Good phenomenal. Record, yeah. Good Twelve record, wins, no, no. one loss, uh, which is on points over 12 rounds. The majority decision as well, over to ten rounds and ten KOs, mate. Yeah. I would, I would literally would have took the fight with anyone. It could have been anyone on the planet. I need, I need fights there. I need big fights. So it could have been anyone, but it's often to be this guy. So yeah, let's. let's well, I it. suppose you had great preparation because in your last fight you fought uh, a lot of dangerous kids. Yeah. yeah, you had a, a very similar, similar record. record not... Eight wins, seven KOs, only yeah. the one loss, and I mean, uh, you ended up stopping him in the fourth round. Yeah, that's means I know I'm a relentlessness. I can punch hard, so. <laughs> I'm like the calibre of opponents I've been in with have been better than his, so that's not I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it and see how good he is. I'm gonna see how good he is on Friday. You you you're hoping this is gonna be your breakout year. If, if you can get the win up in Scotland then hopefully uh, I was speaking to Steve and he was saying you know, you've got a very pleasing style mate mm. and which is very conducive to, to audiences, you know, you, you, you never fail to excite people. Um so yeah, realistically, if you can get a good win over here, then opportunities got to come your way. Yeah, I just need to get on a big show, man. And that's what I just been when I was got on Sky Sports, and I thought from the Sky Sports one, I thought more doors are going to open, but then people have obviously seen me and thought, I don't want none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just hoping after this, I can get a better ranking so then people want to fight me. I've got to give something that I've, I've got to um, have something that they want. Yeah, you've got to be able to bring something I've got to, to the be a table. Bit, yeah, yeah, I'm low, um, is it high risk, low reward? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but, but do you know something? Those two defeats on your record, one of them which is in prize fighters, so it doesn't really mean anything because it's not a real defeat. It's not even so a problem that fight anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, but even so, and, and you, you defeat to Ben Fields. You and I'm the back of the shot anyway, so to yeah. me, in my mind, I'm undefeated. I'm, I mean, in my mind, I'm undefeated, so this is what it is, isn't it? It's all, it's, all about your, it's all about your mentality. Is that important to you, though? Do you, you keep yourself as a. You yeah, think you have to, because if you start thinking, oh, I got. I've lost, I can get beat again. You know what I mean? You need to keep your mentality like, no one's beating me. That's what I mean, no one's beating me. Like, in my, as long as I know in my head, no one's beating me, then I'm sweet. <laughs> but preparations have gone well for this. I mean, you, you've stepped up again. I mean, yeah. I, I know uh, for the fight with that Samuel, I can't pronounce his surname, but he stopped last time out. Uh, you were preparing a lot with um, with Alpha. With Alpha Barrett. Yeah, I was doing Now that. you were preparing a lot with uh, Sam Maxwell, who was thankfully, was it a world title? Like? Maybe a world title, yeah. So yeah. I did two slots of sparring with him, that was great, great experience learning. And lots of him went up to Yorkshire, Huddersfield, um, and Halifax. Oh, yeah. Chris Ashton, I had a couple of lads there, Jimmy first. Jimmy is top Yeah, I know, a life lad, man. Then done a few rounds. Central with him. champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> done, uh, done rounds with him, got two different opponents and turned around. And I went up to Collius, uh, sparring Amar Akbar. Done rounds, eight rounds, six rounds. I think with him. was he 2 0 now as a pro, is he? Something like that, yeah. He's a very good amateur, yeah. though. Good amateur, yeah. And good yeah. little boxer. Um, so it was a great round, so I prepared well. You confident? I'm always confident, man. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But you're for the right reasons, though. Yeah. And from what I've seen today, it, it's definitely for the right reasons. And like I said last time out, uh, I think you love this fear factor because we didn't know. We just knew of uh, his record that Samuel. Ockbug, Oppergun, or yeah. something like that. Um, I think that was the first time in a lot. In a what? That was the first time on my pro career that I had a bit of a fear factor. And that's what everyone said. That was your best performance yet. That's what brought the best out of me because I thought I've got to be, I've got to be on the game was, here because if you caught me, you know what I mean? He was built, built like that. And, and he come out with a mask on and all that. I thought, yo, he's a real deal, him. <laughs> so I was ready to go, man. So it's like this guy thinks a fair factor on me. So you'll see a clear best performance from Friday. He had a little team with him as well, didn't he? You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Really over on yeah, guys with suits and all yeah. that. I was like, fuck oh, yeah. I mean, we were like, hard <laughs> nights work here. That's what I knew. So that's why I had to put it on him. Um, same with Friday, fair factor. 
So I'm ready to put in a queer best performance on Friday night. Right, well hopefully, uh, I, we're not up there on the night, but uh, I hope I'll come and chat to you. And uh, it should be, with fingers crossed, win number 14, mate. Yeah. Okay. Spectacular performance, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck for Friday night. Nice mate. one, man. You take Appreciate care. It, Bye. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.